Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and I was just going to show you really quick what it is that I do to make bait containers for my worms when I'm trying to get them to migrate out. Um, what has, you know, just normal, I don't know, what are these, like one quart size yogurt, sour cream, whatever containers, but they're a nice thick plastic, and I picked this up at the dollar store. Um, or Walmart or something, and it's a soldering iron, um, a wood burning kit also. Um, it just this is the tip that it comes with. I think there's other ones I can use, but this works fine. So I turn it on, make sure it's hot. Kind of, you can feel the heat coming off of it. And uh, what you want to do is make sure that you're going along the sides and not in the bottom. The idea is to make sure that the worms and the food stay in the container and don't come and go. So if you put holes in the bottom, the good juices from the food will leak out and then the worms won't come into your, your bait container. So it's good to leave, you know, about an inch at the bottom with no holes so that if the food drips, then um, it'll stay inside the cup and so will the worms. So here I go. So what I do is nice well aerated area which happens to be my kitchen and you can tell it is making um, a stink so you want to do this where you have a fan or what have you in place and I just put them all the way around you don't have to push very hard you uh, just let the, the heat do its work. And I usually try and put in enough holes every inch or so so that worms coming from any direction can find a place to get in. So you make sure you're doing that on a uh, heat proof surface as well. So then there you have it. Uh, good size holes, they're nice and soft, the worms won't scratch themselves on there. And then on the inside I can bait it up, which I will do in a moment. Right after I turn off my soldering iron. So here I have a little bucket of my prepared bedding. And I have a couple of oranges that have started to go bad on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little handful so that it absorbs any of the good juices and put it in the bottom, maybe a little, two little handfuls. And then I'm going to take my fruit and I'm going to cut it up so that all of the juices will leak into the, the bottom there and so that everything looks nice and good. And keep kind of layering the bedding and the fruit, and it doesn't matter what kind of fruit you use, you can use bananas um, or citrus. Apples will take a while longer um, unless they're cooked or frozen. So right now what I have is oranges, so that is what we are going to use. Oh, that one did go bad, didn't it? Yikes. Went good for the worms. And then I top it off with um, a big helping of the bedding so that, um, because this is going to be even with the top of the bin, I don't want any bugs to find this to be a good place to go live. So topping that off should be pretty stable. And then you can put this in the corner of your bin, worms go in, and uh, makes it nice and convenient for you if you want to. Um, remove your worms from the bin. Usually takes a good week um, to, to get enough worms and a lot of times the food will still be in decent condition and you can take the worms out and put the food back if you want to move them to another container. Alright guys, well this is just a quick one here today. Uh, give it a muddy thumbs up if you like the video and if you're not already a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.